Karibu tena katika Random Conversations. Leo Random Conversations zimekaa kishamra shamra kisherehe. Na sherehe hizi ziko nchini Uganda lakini zinaenea Afrika nzima. Kufanya nini? Ni hivi. Jana tarehe 30 Novemba mwaka huu 2023 kile chuo chetu maarufu cha kufunza watu Kiswahili kinaitwa Star Swahili Learning Center chenye makao makuu Kampala Uganda ambacho kinafundisha wa Afrika Kiswahili kupitia mtandaoni nchi zaidi ya 34 zina watu wanajifunza Kiswahili kupitia platform ya Star Swahili Learning Center jana walikuwa na mahafali ya pili ya chuo chao picha hizi zinaonyesha hatua mbalimbali ambazo chuo hiki shule hii imepitia katika mwaka mmoja uliopita wageni walioalikwa walimu waliosaidia baadhi ya wanafunzi waliochomoza na shukrani ambazo uongozi wa shule unazitoa kwa mafanikio ambayo yamesababishwa na ushiriki wa watu wengi ambao baada ya mwaka mmoja sasa wamewezesha mahafali ya pili ya shule hii kufanyika na hili ndilo tukio lililokusanya watu zaidi ya mia moja jana mtandaoni wakishuhudia na wakishangilia wakifurahia mafanikio yao wenyewe au ya wenzao waliokuwa wamewaalika wanafunzi mia moja walitunukiwa vieti na wanafunzi hao wanatoka katika nchi nane za Afrika na ndio maana katika ufunguzi wa mahafali hayo tulifungua kwa wimbo wa umoja wa Afrika. Inawezekana wengine hamjawahi hata kuusikia wimbo wa umoja wa Afrika. Huu hapa. Mahafali yalifana. 
yalifana kwa sababu nyingi mbalimbali. Mbali. Moja kiwango cha Kiswahili ambacho washiriki walionyesha. Wanafunzi wenyewe walikuwa wanahitimu, walikuwa waliokuwa kwenye sherehe, walimu waliozungumza na viongozi wao. Unaona Kiswahili kimekuwa kinazungumzwa kwa ufasaha ambao hata sisi wengine tulioshiriki hatukutarajia. Pili wingi wa watu. Ni tukio lililokusanya watu kutoka barani Afrika. Wahitimu nimesema walikuwa mia moja, lakini kulikuwa na wengine walikuwa wamealikwa kushiriki furaha hiyo. Na tukio lilidumu kwa saa mbili mfululizo kuanzia saa mbili mpaka saa nne za Afrika Mashariki. Tatu SK Media tulialikwa kama washiriki lakini pia sisi ndio tulikuwa tunaratibu tukio zima ushiriki wetu na mchango wetu katika kuratibu tukio hili kwetu ilikuwa ni fursa ya heshima kutambuliwa na taasisi ambayo inahudumia Afrika katika kiwango ambacho si wengi wanajua lakini watajua kwa sababu sasa tumeingiza mkono zilitolewa pia tuzo mbalimbali mbali kwa watu wengi ambao kwa namna mbalimbali mbali katika hatua za kukua kwa kituo hiki na mafunzo haya wameshiriki katika kukuza na kueneza Kiswahili barani Afrika Hata mimi nilipewa tuzo msisahau tuzo ya kukuza Kiswahili kupitia channel hii Vile vile ilikuwepo fursa kwa baadhi ya wahitimu kwa niaba ya wahitimu wenzao kutoa ushuhuda wa kile walichofanya kwa miezi nane ya mafunzo ya Kiswahili na kwa kiwango gani Kiswahili chao kimekuwa mpaka hapo walipofikia ilikuwa inavutia kweli kweli lakini si hiyo tu kulikuwa na hotuba kemkem hotuba moja wapo iliyovutia watu ni rais wa Star Swahili Learning Center welcome crispus Special acknowledgement 
goes to our esteemed professors and doctors whose expertise has enriched the learning experience at Staswahili. Your presence here today not only honors our graduates, but also serves as a source of inspiration for us all. Natumia lugha ya kiingereza kwa sababu kuna wale ambao hawawezi wakaelewa Kiswahili na dhani tutakuwa nikichanganya lugha ili sote tuweze kuelewana. We have people who have come from French countries. For example, we have here our graduates who have been studying Kiswahili from French from those of Burundi led by our director teaching and learning, Mr. Audrey Pempanzo, who is now in Burundi. We have those ones who are coming from Comoros. We have those ones who are coming from uh, DRC. We have those ones who are coming from Burkina Faso. All those countries are studying from French to Swahili. And I know our Mr. Odilipe will translate for them so as they can be at par with us. Today marks a day of celebration, not only for our graduates, but for each one of you who has contributed in various capacities. The success of Star Swahili Learning Center. We celebrate not just the achievements of our graduates, but also the collective efforts that have made this institution a hub for cultural ex exchange and knowledge. Before we proceed with the graduation ceremonies, let us reflect on the origins of our success. Our foundation lies in the dream of uniting Africans through the love of our Swahili language. From a mere idea to an institution representing the richness of our language, this journey has nothing short of triumphant. We have successfully transited borders, reaching 40 countries across our continent, with over 400 Swahili teachers from French and English departments who are helping us teach Kiswahili. This has positioned us as a significant hub for cultural extent, exchange, contributing to the tapestry of Swahili culture. Our achievement owe much to the steadfast leadership of Professor Peter Baguma, who was supposed to be here with us, but right now is in South Africa and is unable to be with us, but he told me he's with us in everything, the chairperson of our board. We extend our gratitude for his wise guidance and efforts in steering Star Swahili towards its goals of promoting the Swahili language in Africa. I would also like to take this opportunity to express our appreciation to Dr. Masele Kalev Kahaika, the chairperson of our advisory board. Uzuri. Dr. Maseleka, you don't have to through his dedicated efforts, has like... provided strategic direction that has been instrumental in the success of Star Swahili mm. Learning Center. Dr. Maseleka, your commitment and guidance as the chairman of, of board, advisory board, have greatly contributed to our journey. Your presence on the board has added immense value and we are grateful for your unique contributions. To Dr. Karen Nassimo, the Executive Secretary of East Africa Kiswahil Commission and esteemed scholars, Dr. Mtunj Bawaz, Dr. Gumosha Gilbert, Dr. Mtenyo Aida, Dr. Reni Tuanensia, your presence has enriched our celebration. Your dedication to Star Swahil Studies has been instrumental in our academic environment. A special mention goes to SK Media for hosting us today. Your support in spreading the beauty of Swahili through various media channels has been instrumental in reaching diverse audiences. We are grateful for your ongoing collaboration and commitment to promoting our cultural and linguistic endeavors. As we celebrate our achievements, let us recognize the collective efforts of these esteemed individuals and organizations who have contributed significantly to the success of Star Swahili Learning Center. Together, we continue to champion the cause of Swahili language and cultural fostering unity, understanding, 
across borders. Furthermore, as we embark on the second year, we look forward to collaborating with other institutions to further promote the Swahili language. We invite the stakeholders to contribute resources, whether in the form of computers, financial assistance, data, to mention but a few, to help start Swahili register free in countries where we are not yet established and support our staff. We aspire to strengthen our collaboration with the East African community and the African Union in advancing the Swahili language. Our partnership will not only enhance the, stand, the standing of Swahili, studying of Swahili, but also positively impact the perception of our language on our continent. Together, let us contribute to build bridges and promote the cultural richness is calculated in the Swahili language. Nashukua hii fursa nikiwa na hitimisha o watambulisha viongozi wetu ambao na wajua hapa ambao wapo hapa tuna mheshimiwa naibu wa rais Sweetheart Chaka anaitwa Sweet jina lake ni Sweetheart anatoka Rithotho Karibu sana na mkaribisha Derek Taremwa ambao ni mojapo board member Staswahili na mkaribisha Uzamukunda Macrin ambaye ni HR Staswahili na mkaribisha Rukuno Victor kiongozi Staswahili Paulo Sito mwalimu Pascali mwalimu Odilipe Mpanzo mkenzi wa elimu French Department Sister Nyiremba Bas Victoria ambao ni mojapo wa board Nwaga ba Emmanuel wananwaga ba Emmanuel mwenyeji wa board Mosola Hilary mwalimu Let's thank kutoka Rithotho Saba Clever ambao ni mmojawapo wa board Kimiksa Everin ambao ni mwalimu hasa hasa mwalimu Senior Mas kutoka Kenya na nahitimisha na Inuluna Brenda. Sante sana kwa hapa na siku ya leo. Thank you all of you for unwavering support and dedication to the vision of Star Swahili Learning Center. Congratulations to our graduates. You are the ambassadors of Swahili culture. And we know that you will continue to shine wherever life takes you. In the next year, as I conclude, we are going to have our learning through our channels as you've had our IT personnel talking about, we are building a learning center that is going to be technologically built, whereby someone is going to be enrolling and strategically join learning, maybe purchase books or access books, and as well as learn with our teachers. We have the program of facilitating our 400 teachers that we are having on board, whereby the system is going to be facilitating. I'm happy that very many organizations like banks have come up to partner with us, organizations on continent that are interested in learning Kiswahili. We hope starting next quarter, which is starting next year, as the Swahili, we are going to be able to facilitate and capture all these people to help us teach Swahili language. Remember, we are following Agenda 2063 African Union, the agenda all the Africa we want. Right now, when I go in all these 40 countries, where Star Swahili is, I have a home. When I go to Burundi, I have friends. When I go to Ethiopia, I have friends. When I go to Egypt, I have friends. Meaning, right now, I cannot be a refugee in any country, rather I have a home. <laughs> this Star Swahili is going to unite all Africans, is going to bring together youth on the continent, not to speak Swahili, but as well to look for opportunities. Hakuwa peke yake. Kwa nafasi niliyopewa pia kama mmoja wa wageni maalum walioalikwa na kwa mchango wa SK Media katika kukuza Kiswahili tulipewa fursa ya kusalimia na nilisema haya yafuatayo. Nilisisitiza mambo mengi lakini hapa nitataja machache. La kwanza ni ukuu wa Kiswahili. Kwamba Kiswahili ni lugha kubwa 
na takwimu zinaonyesha kwamba hivi sasa Kiswahili kinazungumzwa na zaidi ya watu milioni miambili duniani kote. La pili ni msisitizo niliyoweka kwamba Kiswahili ni zaidi ya lugha. Kiswahili ni ajira, Kiswahili ni biashara, Kiswahili ni fursa, Kiswahili ni furaha. La tatu niliwasihi washiriki kwamba kwa kuwa bado wapo katika hatua za awali wasisite kujifunza kwa wenyeji nyumbani kwa Kiswahili Tanzania Niliwakumbusha pia kwamba kuna umuhimu wa kuchukua hatua pamoja tuwasiliane tujenge familia pana tupange pamoja tukue pamoja na tupanuke pamoja na kwamba kwa jitihada hizi wamekuwa chachu ambayo itasaidia katika kutengeneza kanzi data mpya ya wazungumzaji wa Kiswahili duniani zilikuwepo pia hotuba kutoka kwa wahadhiri ninashukuru sana kwa kunialika ninashukuru pia na natuma salamu kwa wahadhiri kwa wageni wa ali kwa katibu mtendaji kama tunashukuru sana kwa nawe hapa na mtu mwelekezi mwalimu masereka nashukuru kwa nawe hapa msemaji mkuu nashukuru pia nawe kwa na wewe kwa maneno mazuri ambayo tutayafikia mimi mwanzo niko na shangwe sana hasa katika mwendo na safari ambayo mkurugenzi ulianza nao. Kujua kawaida tunaanza na wazo, tunaanza na ndoto wazo halafu linakuwa. Ile niliyo wazo ni sababu mmenyunyizia maji na Kiswahili kikaanza kungata mzizi katika sehemu mbalimbali. Mbali. Mimi naona kula ambako tunaelekea ni pazuri na kwa njia iliyonyoka na iliyo nyepesi mno. Ni zile za mazakale ambao watu wangetafutana kwa magari, kwa baisikeli, tukutane wapi. Lakini sasa hizi uwepo wa teknohama, atekohama na, na mambo ya kidigiti, unaona kwamba tunakutana na watu wengi, tunashirikiana, tunashauriana tena ni wapongeze sana wanafunzi wetu ambao wanahitimu leo katika kundi la pili. Najua kuna wana ambao alihitimu katika mahakama ya ana kwa ana na ili kundi la pili pia nasema kwamba mnahitimu. Hakuna kitu muhimu sana kama kuelewana kwa kutumia lugha moja. Maana yake mnakuwa familia moja. Unaona sasa tumetambuana, tunajitambulisha kwamba tunatoka simu nyingi sana. Hiyo sehemu ina maana kwamba hiyo inchi unapokuwa labda umesafiri Afrika ni nchi ndogo sana. Utajikuta wakati mwingine uko Lisotho, uko Zambia, uko Namibia, uko Burundi na uko Misri. Sasa unajikuta kwamba tunaweza kuwepo na mawasiliano ya kutumia lugha yetu ya Kiswahili ya kawaida. Haitaji kwamba tuibuke shule ya samiati mikubwa mgumu ya teknolojia na teknolojia la hasha. Kiswahili tunajifunza kwa ajili ya mawasiliano. Na mawasiliano ndio haya. Iwe katika teknolojia, iwe kwa ana kwa ana, yote ni kwa jenga, kujenga uh, umoja, kujikuza maendeleo na pia kuwa na madhumuni ambayo yanayoka na yanaeleka. Katika mambo ya ukuzaji katika tunapoangalia mambo ya ya nini ya sustainable development na mambo na mambo mengine kama hayo. Ni nini ambacho tunaangalia? Hakuna jinsi ambavyo nchi itaendelea bila kuwepo lugha moja ya mawasiliano. Naona tunakuwa na walimu tofauti, ni wanatoka Kenya, Burundi wapi? Lakini nini ambacho tumejifunza? Jifunza Kiswahili. Alafu tumebahatika pia tuko na walezi katika hasasi tofauti tofauti au walezi kule walipo wanapigania Kiswahili, wanasukuma Kiswahili wanatumia nguvu zote na wakiona mambo kama haya kiibuka na 
tumai kwamba kule hofisa ambazo wamo wana jambo la kusema na kuna jambo la kutayarisha ninachosema ni nini sasa kwenye wahitimu wa, wa wetu kwamba sio mwisho hiyo kunenio ajamvi ambalo limekutukutanisha tuzidi kuongea tuzidi kujifunza tuzidi kuelekezana tuzidi kuleta mambo tofauti ambayo yatatusaidia kujiendeleza kiuchumi kiakademia na mambo mengine kushauriana isiyo kwamba tunahitimu leo na Kiswahili kimeisha hapana tunahitimu lakini tunaendelea kusoma wana ambao nimewasikia wakiongea Kiswahili na wapongeza sana ni hatua kubwa ambayo mmepiga Kiswahili ni kizuri Kiswahili ni kitamu Kiswahili ni nyimbo Kiswahili ni wasiliana Kiswahili ni mwelekeo kwa hivyo tukimudu tuse tuungane pamoja na michakato yote ambayo tunaandaa tuna Mungu atuwezeshe hata kule tunakoelekea tufike mbali kwa vile unajua ni wakati wa jioni na giza linapoendelea e, e, watu tayari kuchoka naomba kwa unyenyekevu niishia hapa kwenye masiliano yangu niwashukuru kila mtu ambaye amekuepo kuwa na muda kujitolea na kuungana nasi asanteni sana wahitimu hongereni sana na Mungu awabariki shukrani lakini sherehe zote zilihitimishwa na mgeni rasmi alikuwa ni Dr. Karen Asimwe ambaye ni katibu mtendaji wa tume ya Kiswahili ya Afrika Mashariki. Kiswahili Learning Center kwa kuwa mfano kwa wadau wa Kiswahili wengine. Kama wenzangu walivyosema ni jambo ambalo tunajivunia kuona kwamba vijana siku hizi wanakuja kwa nguvu hasa katika swala la teknolojia wanalitumia kueneza na kufanya mambo ambayo yana manufaa kwa jamii wale ambao wamejifunza neno moja au wamejifunza zaidi kutokana na Star Swahili Learning Center ninaamini kwamba hiyo lugha ambayo wamejifunza itawasaidia na ku, katika maendeleo yao katika maendeleo yao ya kila siku katika shughuli zao wanazozifanya wanapofanya kazi zao za kawaida na ninaamini kwamba hao wahitimu wako katika nyanja tofauti oh they are doing different other different courses kama ni wanabiashara au medical doctors engineers wahandisi au wanafanya course nyingine zozote ukijifunza lugha inakuongezea sifa nyingine ambayo inaweza kusaidia kupata fursa kuliko yule ambaye hana fursa hiyo na tukilinganisha na marengo ya kamisheni ya Kiswahili huwa kuna swala la kutumia lugha ya Kiswahili kuwezesha watu kisiasa kiuchumi katika umoja wa kijamii katika jumuiya Afrika Mashariki na kwingineko. Kwa hivyo hiki kipao kip, ambacho mmekipata mnaweza kukitumia katika masuala tofauti. So ninawahimiza kwamba msiishie hapa. Don't say you have graduated and you ended here. You have to practice You have to practice. Ni lazima utumie uendelee kutumia lugha ya Kiswahili ili ujifunze zaidi. Kuna mbinu na mikabara tofauti. Unaweza kuangalia movie za Kiswahili zinakusaidia kujifunza. Just watching Kiswahili movies. It's one way of learning. You can learn language from there. Unaweza kusikiliza taarifa ya habari. Ya, free, ya, ya Kiswahili. Ingia kwenye TV, tafuta TBC, tafuta KTN Kenya, tafuta TV zote ambazo hata na UBC Uganda huwa wana vipindi vya taarifa za habari kwa Kiswahili. Au kwingine kwa Voice of America, BBC, sikiliza. Listen to any Kiswahili program. Ukisikia neno ambalo hulielewi, tafuta maana yake. Hapo utakuwa umejifunza neno hilo siku hiyo. Kwa hivyo jaribu mjaribu kujitahidi kuendelea kujifunza kwa sababu huwezi kusema kwamba umemaliza masuala ya kujifunza lugha. 
hata walimu wenu bado wanajifunza so those who are teaching you are also still learning so you also have to keep learning tuseme kwamba tusiseme kwamba leo tumehitimu tukaishia hapa na pia ninaomba kwamba tuendelee kushirikiana na makundi ya Kiswahili au ya kundi lenu la Star Swahili Learning Center usije kusema mimi nitatoka kwenye kikundi don't leave the group you still need the group to learn more from there toa neno moja la Kiswahili usiwe na wasiwasi in Kiswahili or in language learning we say we don't make mistakes we make errors na hizo errors huwa ni sehemu ya kujifunza all the errors are part of learning kwa hivyo usiogope sema chochote kwa Kiswahili mwishowe utafika naomba pia niseme kwamba nimefurahi kwa kuwa mna walimu ambao ni mashuhuri wa ambao wanawasaidia na kuwaelekeza katika shughuli hizi tunatarajia kwamba huko mbele mambo yatakuwa mazuri, mazuri zaidi na kwa kuwa mna mtandao ambaye inawaunganisha katika dunia nzima pia msikirie kuzungumzia masuala tofauti tofauti katika jamii ambayo yanahusu maendeleo kama kuna siku ambayo labda kuna kuna sherehe yake duniani mnaweza kuandaa hata kama ni siku ya afya au siku ya wa, watu ambao hawaja wasiojiweza kama wanazungumzia wa mtoto wa Afrika tafuteni mada hata kama ni neno moja mtalisema wale ambao wataweza kutoa hotuba ndefu wataitoa lakini mjaribu kushirikiana kwa kufia kufikiria maswara yanayoendelea katika dunia na pia mnapofanya haya yote msitize swala la umoja kwa sababu linasababisha amani mkiwa mkiwa mnaangaliana kama ndugu mtakuwa na amani na mkiwa na amani mtakuweza kufanya kazi ili kupata maendeleo na maendeleo sio maendeleo tu ila maendeleo endelevu so when you're looking at each other as brothers you will be united and this unity will bring about peace which peace is a key pillar for development and i said it doesn't only end at development but it it also leads to sustainable development because what you have prepared will not be destroyed in one day kwa sababu unajua kwamba kuna swala la maendeleo endelevu or sustainable development so jambo lingine ambalo ni la aina yake katika maafari haya ni kwamba mnapopata hisa hasta shahada ya Kiswahili ni nyenye wa awamu ya pili na kwa hivyo mnajiunga na wenzenu ambao wametangulia kama wamefanya jambo or your colleagues who came out before you or who graduated before you so think about what you're going to do fikiria kile mtakachokifanya kuchangia katika maendeleo ya Kiswahili kama daktari Masereka ambaye ni mwenyekiti wa board alicho alivyoniomba ameomba kamisheni ya Kiswahili kwamba iwafikirie sisi huwa tunashirikiana na wadau wote wa Kiswahili ila ninachowahimiza ni kwamba na ninachowaomba ni kwamba muhakikishe kwamba uh, chama hiki kimesajiliwa katika wizara husika uh, katika makao makuu ya chama hiki chama kama kinatambuliwa itakuwa rahisi kama kuna fursa yoyote ina, inayotokea ya kushirikiana lakini katika masuala ya uhamasishaji katika masuala ya mawasiliano hapo nawaahidi kwamba tutawasiliana tutawasiliana tuendelee kushirikiana katika kukuza na kuendeleza lugha ya Kiswahili and allow me to say this even in english In, Kiswa, in promoting Kiswahili we do not have boundaries we do not say we are looking out for people who have gone to school or who have phd's masters what 
We are looking for anyone who uses language. We look out for everyone who uses language because language is a key tool in any development aspect. We need language for communication. We need language to access justice. If you go to court, you need a language you understand. We need language to access social services. Huduma za kijami. Huwezi kwenda hospitali kama huwezi kuwasiliana na daktari. Eh? You need to be able to communicate with the doctor whom you'll find at the hospital. Kwa hivyo usipokuwa na lugha au usipoelewa lugha inayotumika itakuwa changamoto. Kwa hivyo ninawapongeza sana na tuwapongeza wahitimu, ninawapongeza viongozi wa Star Swahili Learning Center na washauri wote ambao wametajwa na wale ambao hawajatajwa kwa sababu najua kwamba kuna watu wengi ambao wamechangia katika maendeleo ya Star Swahili Learning Center. Na ninawaomba nina msiishiwe nguvu kutie maendeleo kutia BD kwa sababu kazi ndivyo ambavyo uh, kazi imeanza kwa sasa na tunaomba pia kama kuna shughuli ambazo mtahitaji msaada wetu hasa katika swala la ushirikiano mtuhusishe ili tuweze kuhudhuria ninashukuru sana uongozi wa Star Swahili Learning Center kwa kutoa kunipa heshima hii ya kusema kwamba nije kuwapongeza na kuwatuza wahitimu wenu au wahitimu wa Star Swahili Learning Center Mamlaka hayo ambayo nimepewa na Star Swahili Learning Center si jambo ambalo nalichukulia tu lakini ni swala ambalo naliona kwamba linaipa kamisheni ya Kiswahili heshima stahiki kwamba wanatambua nafasi ya kamisheni ya Kiswahili ya Dumi Afrika Mashariki na wako tayari kushirikiana na kakama katika ukuzaji na uendelezaji wa Kiswahili na sisi tunaahidi kwamba tutashirikiana nanyi tutawaelekeza natoa ushauri pale itakapohitajika ili tuweze kuendeleza na kukuza lugha ya Kiswahili. Nitaomba uh, kupitia uh, rais wa Star Swahili Learning Center kupata orodha ya wale wote ambao wamehitimu leo na uh, nchi ambako wanatoka ili tuweze kupata mawasiliano zaidi na hao wahitimu na kufuatilia namna wanavyoendelea katika shughuli za kukuza na kuendeleza Kiswahili. Asanteni sana na kwa wahitimu ongereni sana. Uh, hapa ninawapongeza na kwa tunuku wote ambao majina yao yametajwa tuzo ya astashahada ya Star Swahili Learning Center. Naomba mpokee cheti cha kuonyesha kwamba kuanzia leo mehitimu kama uh, wakufunzi wa Star Swahili Learning Center leo tarehe 30 mwezi wa 11 mwaka 2023 hongereni sana jinsi anavyozungumza Kiswahili ujumbe aliyobeba aliyowapa washiriki na saha alizotoa na jinsi alivyohitimisha shughuli nzima unaona kwamba tume iko katika mikono salama na Kiswahili kiko katika mikono salama katika Afrika Mashariki na unaona jinsi kinavyochomoza kupenya mipaka ya Afrika Mashariki kwenda sehemu nyingine za Afrika na dunia ilikuwa sherehe tamu muziki ulipigwa shangwe zilikuwepo mtandao kumbuka lakini tulikuwa tumekusanyika katika ukumbi mmoja tukiongozwa na SK Media tukifurahia furaha ya wenzetu ujumbe kwako Kiswahili ni lulu kama hujaanza tambua leo kama ulikuwa unatambua endeleza ni hiyo Kiswahili kinakuwa na huko kinakoelekea ndio biashara ndio maisha yajayo ya Waafrika 
ukichelewa wewe watawai wenzio Star Swahili Learning Center imeonyesha mfano Karibuni tufurahi nao katika kazi zao zijazo